guys and welcome to another exciting edition of Savage Jamaican Cuisine. Yes guys, for today, I'll be walking you through the process of how we do oven jerk pork. Yes guys, so stick around, like, subscribe to the channel, subscribe, subscribe. I can't stress it enough guys. So of course you can be notified once I post a content. So just sit back, relax, while I walk you through the process of how we do Jamaican oven jerk pork. See you in a bit. Alright, so we're getting in the season process. As you can see, pork is um cleaned and washed. This is a, a, a old pork shoulder, pretty much. So you can get a variety. Why well, I use pork shoulders because you know you have the lean aspect of it and the fat and all. So everything come together. No nice to cook it. For you, the Adventist people, then when I really eat pork, then maybe this video is not for you. But yeah, we're getting into the process, guys. So as you can see, we have some jerk seasoning, jerk, blended jerk here. This is homemade. I have a recipe for this. I'll be posting on the channel soon. Yeah, I'm really using all purpose seasoning. This is a blended mix some black pepper, a little bit of paprika, and some salt. So, what we want to do is just use a knife and get some nice little holes in the pork. So, what this does is to get the season all marinating in the skin and going through it. And you want to ensure this is properly done so the season get in all these, you know, these little spots and yeah pretty much that's that so first we come up with this bad boy here the, the blended jerk so we had a reasonable, reasonable amount to this this is like about four tablespoons could be more but yeah roughly about that then we come in with about a tablespoon of salt some all-purpose seasoning That's also about a tablespoon as well. We come again with this blended mix that I use in most of what I do. Also about a tablespoon. All right. About um, a teaspoon of paprika. Perfect. And then we're going with also about a teaspoon of black pepper. You don't want to use too much because there's already enough spice in the jerk blend already. So that should be enough. So we're just going to incorporate all of this together and then just put it in the refrigerator for minimum 24 hours. And yeah, pretty much get into the jerking process of the pork. So just going to rub this all in together, guys, and show the season that it's every curve of the meat every crib is every car now as grandma would have said yeah season two pretty much every aspect so get in this nicely then after all that is done we're just gonna put it in a container smaller container and flip it in the fridge of course you want to ensure it's covered with your cling wrap so we'll just do something like so like so and you want to get all the seasoning out of here so we're just gonna wrap this up now guys and put it in the refrigerator for a minimum amount of time of 24 hours could be more but minimum amount of 24 hours so pretty much ready for the refrigerator so i'll see you back in a bit whereby we'll go through the cooking the jerking process of the pork so. all right guys so as you can see this is the marinated pork for over 24 hours i mean the smell and the flavor coming from all of this is so amazing so what i'm doing is just removing the wrap so as to get it in the oven to start the jerking process so as you can see i have um a baking tray here pretty much what i did is to just put some grease paper uh, on top of the foil what this does is to keep the moisture inside and that makes your pork very juicy so right just gonna go ahead and just layer the different parts of the pork inside and then of course, show you how I get them in to do the oven jerk. So I just wanna spread this out nicely. And as I mentioned in the previous video, guys, we're using a pork shoulder, but if you don't have that, then whatever part of the pork where you can get a mix of um, the lean and the fat, then 
that's ideal so if it's not a pork shoulder you can just use another part but wow, look at all this so we just layer all these parts of the meat here and the oven is already set at um, 270 um, and that is pretty much very good you just want to ensure that all of this gets spread over And then, once that is done, you're gonna come up, come ahead with some beer. I mean, um, normally the traditional thing to do is to use the red stripe beer, but I don't have that. Oh, I have that here. So pretty much this one does the same. It's not the red stripe, but it pretty much does the same effect. So this is about, um, let me see here. This is about, yeah, this is about 200 ml. Yeah. So we're just gonna have this on top of the pork. So just spread it around evenly. Ensure you get the beer all around. All right? So that should be enough. And we just come up with some more foil on top. So we just wanna cover this so as to trap the heat inside. And we just put this in the oven for um one hour and 15 to an hour, hour and a half so that's hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half so pretty much you're gonna get this in the oven and you'll see the end result of how we get the drop pork finished see you in a bit all right so after one hour this is what your pork should be looking like so of course you can see the excess juices are here so of course we're just gonna have the remainder of the beer around this for and then put it back in the oven for another hour and then of course the, for this time though we're not gonna cover the entire thing we're gonna leave it open so as to get that beautiful color on the outside as well while the pork finishes up so just gonna put this back in the oven for another hour and then you guys will see the final product of what your oven jerk jerk jamaican just your oven jerk pork should look like so i'll see you guys in a bit all right guys so yeah this is it after a total of two hours so of course um this is the last the, the the final product after the last hour in the oven of course with um no lid on or anything so yeah this is the final product of um oven jerk pork look at that lovely 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 view guys and the aroma is just amazing so yeah guys thank you so much for making it savvy jamaican cuisine and until the next video just continue to remain savvy of course and of as always, like the content, subscribe to the channel, and select your bell notification so you get notified once a video is posted. So, until the next video guys, peace, I'm out.